Yellowstone super volcano warning from one scientist that it's the most dangerous volcano on earth. Sebastian Ketley of Express UK reports the threat of Yellowstone erupting in the future and the sheer size of the supervolcano means Yellowstone is the most dangerous natural cataclysm on earth. This is according to one geologist. Yellowstone volcano's last three eruptions occurred 640,000 years ago, 1.3 million years ago, and 2.1 million years ago, respectively. We're talking about the super eruptions. There has been a, a huge eruption, of course, 70,000 years ago, and we've had 80 eruptions since then that were smaller, and from what Lawrence Dean tells us, we're, in, we're overdue for another one. He believes that they happen every 6,000 years, so we're 10,000 years overdue. Now, since the last caldera forming blast, there has been a history of non-eruptive events and lava flows. Even today, Yellowstone's frequent geyser eruptions and earthquakes are evidence that Yellowstone is far from dormant or dead. But what about the possibility of Yellowstone erupting again in the future? And is that dangerous? Will that be dangerous? And how dangerous will it be? If Yellowstone were to erupt again, the scale of death and destruction would be unparalleled. This is according to Dr. Jerzy Zaba, the geologist at the University of Silesia in Katowice, Poland. And he fears that Yellowstone matches the Toba supervolcano in terms of raw power. The scientist told uh, Poland WP, it's one of the two, alongside Toba, of the most dangerous volcanoes on Earth. He says Yellowstone is a powerful supervolcano whose eruptions, to our knowledge, occurred three times. The first one was over two million years ago, the second 1.3 million years ago, and the third, the one we know most about, is, was 640,000 years ago. The last eruption was also the strongest. On the volcanic explosivity index, it reached the highest scale. Thousands of cubic kilometers of pyroclastic material were thrown up into the atmosphere. Dr. Zappa explained the ejected pyroclastic materials are all forms of volcanic particles and ash, which can hang around in the atmosphere for years and even decades. For example, when the Iceland volcano Ejaf Jalakukol Jukol erupted in, uh, on Iceland in 2010. Airplane flights around the world were grounded. According to the geologists, the Icelandic volcano is estimated to have only released about 0.1 cubic kilometers of volcanic material. He said, after the eruption, the magma chambers collapsed in on themselves. These are powerful reservoirs of liquid lava under volcanoes, which can reach up to 100 kilometers deep into the earth. Unfortunately, he says, in Yellowstone's case, we cannot determine how deep it reaches. What is known is that it is a powerful, is powerful and exceptionally big magma reservoir. The caldera itself measures 55 kilometers by 80 kilometers after the volcano's eruption. The Yellowstone supervolcano monitoring around the clock by Yellowstone Volcano Observatory of the U.S. Geological Survey and despite Dr. Zaba's apocalyptic scenario, there are no signs or concerns from the scientific community. Uh, we're talking about uh, U.S. Geological Survey that uh, it will erupt anytime soon. Any Yellowstone eruption will be preceded by clear signs. There are many that they have, such as the increased seismic activity, the ground deformation and uplift because of the magma chambers filling, the temperature increase, and uh, the hydrothermal activity increasing, and uh, of course the gravity increase as the magma, the uh, metal and the magma chamber fills. Of course, all these signs have been uh, observed lately at Yellowstone. The thing is, how much of this has to be going on? Uh, we're talking, and also, of course, the, uh, the seismic activity is ongoing. 
Now, USGS says future volcanic eruptions could occur within or near Yellowstone National Park for the simple reason that the area has a long volcanic history and because there is hot and molten rock, or magma, beneath the caldera. Yellowstone is monitored for signs of volcanic activity by Yellowstone Volcano Observatory scientists who detect earthquakes because they use the seismographs and the seismometers, that is, and ground monitoring using GPS. And they also use thermal monitors. They just put a new one in into the uh, area right near Steamboat Geyser. They didn't have one since it started erupting last, last March. And they started uh, using that one, I think, May 19. So that's a good development because they need it there. That's the tallest, strongest geyser in the world. And it's in the worst supervolcano in the world, the most dangerous. And of course, they need a thermal monitor there. Now, um, they also use GPS. And Yellowstone Volcano Observatory has not detected signs of activity that suggest an eruption is imminent. And that, that is, they think that all this that is taking place is basically normal uplift, normal uh, hydrothermal activity, normal seismicity, normal uplift deformation, so on. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.